All right, guys, fun week this week because iPhone 13s are currently being delivered. Super pumped for that. But I figured for this video, I'd share some of my favorite iPhone filmmaking accessories. Oh, look what I did. Should probably film another take. Nah, I'll keep it. Accessories to help you film better videos with a phone. All right, so in my last video, I talked about this case that I use with my iPhone 12 Pro. This is the Polar Pro Light Chaser Pro. Now, this is just the case. There's a lot more accessories that I'm gonna show you in a second, but this case is actually really cool and probably my favorite case that I've used for any iPhone. Let me just slip this on and there you go. Oop, I put it on backwards. Oh, you idiot. All right. There you go. And it's actually a pretty good case too. Like I've dropped this phone many times on hard surfaces and it's protected my phone every single time. Now let me show you the accessories. First is the wireless grip. This is really cool. The wireless grip is super easy to attach. There's a thumb button that you can push to expand the width of the wireless grip so that it easily locks on to the case, just like so. And having the grip right here just makes it a lot easier to hold the phone as you're filming and doing your thing. Like you don't have to hold the phone in that awkward position and then whoop, gravity. It's just a lot easier and more secure to hold your phone because of the grip on the side. Also, there's a button on the top of the grip which actually triggers the camera to start and stop recording. All you have to do is connect the wireless grip to your phone via Bluetooth. And once it's paired, you can use this phone as if it were a mirrorless or DSLR camera, which is pretty cool. On the top and bottom of the wireless grip are quarter 20 threads, which is great because if you want to attach this whole setup to a tripod, you totally can. Or if you want to attach a mic or a light on top of the wireless grip, you totally can. So just a really cool way to expand accessories by having those quarter 20 threads on the top and bottom of the wireless grip. And then of course we have the variable ND filter which you can easily attach to this whole setup. It's really cool. There's like two notches where the camera system is and you just gotta connect the filter to those notches and then slide down just like so. And then if you twist left or right, you can actually control the exposure without having to adjust the shutter speed, the ISO or aperture. And then to simply take off the accessories, just slide and take the filter out, push the thumb button on the wireless grip, remove and now it's a regular phone. So yeah, so that's my favorite setup. I love it. The Polar Pro Light Chaser Pro, super easy to attach accessories, super easy to take off. I love the case, it protects my phone and I'm definitely gonna get the Light Chaser kit for the iPhone 13 whenever that comes out. So pumped for that as well. Now, if you're not a fan of this setup, totally okay. I've got some other accessories that you actually might like better, starting with this guy. <laughs> this is the small rig phone cage for mobile filmmaking, and it can fit any size phone because there's an adjustable phone adapter in the back. So whether you have the iPhone Pro Max or the iPhone mini or a Google Pixel phone, whatever phone you have, just slide your phone right over here. And you don't have to worry about the edges of your phone being damaged because there's a rubber grip on both ends, and so your phone will be protected. And it's really easy to attach your phone onto this rig. I'll just show you over here, just slide up and boom, look at that. And it locks onto your phone pretty tightly and so you don't have to worry about your phone dropping or slipping out of the cage. Well, oh, I forgot about these handles. Yeah, these handles are awesome. What's great about this rig is that there are quarter 20 threads all around the cage so that you can attach whatever accessory you want. There's also a couple of cold shoe mounts over here and so if you wanna attach a mic or a light or a mic and a light at the same time, you totally can. On the bottom, I've already attached my favorite quick release plate, and that's the Manfrotto RC2 quick release plate. And I use this plate for all my cameras. It makes it super easy to attach my cameras to a tripod, to a switch pod, to a gimbal. It's my favorite quick release plate, and of course, I had to attach it on this rig. In fact, let me give you a demonstration. So this is the Joby Gorilla Pod. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this. On top is the base for the quick release plate. And all I have to do is simply do that. Look how easy that was. Like That's why this is my favorite quick release plate. And if you wanna check out this quick release plate and all the accessories that I'm gonna talk about in this video, then links will be down below. And then to detach, just simply flip the switch and release, done. All right, let's go ahead and attach some accessories, shall we? Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and attach a mic. Now you can use whatever mic you want, but because it's an iPhone, you have to use this lightning to audio jack adapter. And uh, basically you just connect your mic to the audio jack on one end and then attach your mic onto the cage, like so. And then connect the lightning cable to the lightning port of your iPhone. And now you can record clean audio using an external mic. The mic that I'm using, by the way, is the DD D4 Duo. I love this mic. You can record audio from both ends or two capsules. Again, you can use whatever mic you want. I prefer smaller mics for a mobile filmmaking rig, and the DD D4 Duo is the one that I use. However, you can also use a wireless mic if you want instead. Let me show you. 
If you want to go wireless, my favorite wireless audio kit is a Rode Wireless Go 2. I mean, look how small that is. It's awesome. This is the receiver, and so it receives audio signals from the transmitters, which are these little things, and it comes with two. Now, with these transmitters, you give to the talent, and you can connect a lav mic to these transmitters, or if you want, you can actually use the onboard mic that's built within the transmitters, which also records audio on the transmitters themselves. And so, yeah, that's why I love this whole setup. It's just really great. Super compact, super tiny, and really easy to use. And so yeah, that's why it's my favorite wireless audio kit. So just for funsies, I'm gonna show you how I set it up. So I'm gonna connect this lav mic, and this lav mic, by the way, is the Rode Lav Go. It's great, affordable, uh, I use it all the time. You connect this to your talent, I'm gonna do a crude job, but I'm just gonna show you just for demonstration. And then connect that to the transmitter. Boom, you're ready to go. And then with the receiver, you connect your audio to that iPhone adapter and then connect that bad boy into the lightning port of your phone. And now you can record audio wirelessly. I might be wrong, but I think Rode actually makes a cable that connects the receiver to your phone directly without having to use an adapter. I'll have to look that up, but I think they do make one. But if anything else, just use this adapter. And then after that, just turn on the receiver and the transmitter and you'll have wireless audio. Super easy. I don't like using loves though, it makes my chest all itchy. And of course you wanna attach a light to your rig because you know, well why not? The light that I recommend is this bad boy. This is the Aperture MC Lights. It's by far one of my favorite lights because not only is it bicolor, but it's also RGB as well. Here, let me turn it on real quick. All right, so we got some uh, greenage going on and there's this dial that you can just uh, cycle through the different colors. We got some reds, we got yellows, back to the greens, and so yeah, it's pretty awesome. Or if you prefer tungsten or daylight, just press and hold the wheel button and then filter through the options so that you can cycle through different color temperatures. So right now it's 5600 Kelvin, so I'm just gonna go down to have more of a tungsten feel. Right now it's 3200 Kelvin. So yeah, daylight, tungsten, RGB, whatever you want, freaking love this light, it's awesome. Also there's magnets on the back, and so you can use those and stick it to like, metal walls, I don't know. Now I've attached this light to this hot shoe adapter which then connects to the rig and a lot of brands make it small rig Andy Cine. The one that I have is from Andy Cine but if you go on Amazon, you'll find some cheap options. But basically all you have to look for is a quarter 20 mount cold shoe or hot shoe adapter and you'll find something like this. But this thing is pretty cool. You can adjust it, you can tilt it down, tilt it up, you can pan left, pan right fully adjustable and kind of makes this whole mobile filmmaking rig pretty dang versatile if you ask me. So yeah, if you're looking for something more beastly then you can definitely go for something like this. Oh, hold on. What if I combine the ND filter? Okay, all right, now we're talking. Okay, I don't have the wireless grip on, but I have this cage. But I've got a whole mobile filmmaking rig that has wireless audio, that has light, that has a variable ND filter to control exposure, and I can quickly attach this to a mini tripod or a Joby Gorilla Pod, and I'm ready to go. <sighs> nice. It's pretty cool. Over the top, but pretty cool. Now the last two accessories are more practical and have less to do with filmmaking, but I think important to talk about, and that's power. Now if you're gonna use your phone this way, you obviously have to charge it. There are two chargers that I recommend. Uh, a wall plug uh, by Anchor. This is awesome. This is the Anchor, oh, what's it called? Anchor Nano, that's right. This is the Anchor Nano. I made a video about this not too long ago. It's pretty awesome, but it supercharges your iPhone or mobile device incredibly fast. In fact, you can actually power up your MacBook Pro and one MacBook Pro to be specific, and charge that laptop with this tiny little power brick. It's, it's really cool. So if you're looking for a charger to charge your iPhone or mobile device fast, the Anchor Nano is the charger to get. Now, what if you're traveling? What if you don't have access to an outlet? Like, how are you gonna charge your phone? No problem. I've got a cool wireless charger also by Anchor, and it's uh, it's this. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? Oh, here we go. This is the Anchor Power Core 3. That's right. This is an awesome wireless charger. I take it everywhere I go. On top, you have a wireless charging base, and if you want to charge your iPhone, just simply lay it on top. It's charging. Or if you prefer the old school method, you have a USB or a USB-C port on the bottom if you wanna charge your phone with a cable. And is, is that it? I think, I think that's it. Well, those are all the accessories that I use 
with my phone currently for mobile filmmaking and accessories that I will use for my upcoming iPhone 13 mini. If you wanna check out any of the gear that I mentioned in this video, then make sure to check out the links down in the description below. All right, well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. Let me know which accessory was your favorite or if you have an accessory that you use that's not mentioned in this video, then let me know in the comments below. But I'm sure you're dying to watch the iPhone 13 videos that are out today, so I'll leave you to it. Watch them with a bagel. Bagel, cream cheese, and enjoy the rest of your day. Or morning. Or afternoon. Or evening. Bye.